video I'm going to demonstrate how to solve this problem. You can see that even though this is actually very tight, it's still dripping. So what has happened is the washer has gotten uh, all uh, firm and it is now needing to be changed. So I'm going to open this tap. I'm going to show you how to change the rubber washer. You will need to locate your mains water supply shut off valve. So here it is. Uh, this will shut off the water for the entire property. Then I can open the tap uh, to change the washer. As you can see, the water is off. See, I've opened the tap and there isn't much water coming out. Now I take a shifting spanner and I'm going to turn this uh, anti-clockwise. Now, if yours is very tight, just support it here with your hand as you uh, loosen it. You don't want it coming out of the wall. So now I can just rotate this. Right, if you're wondering what that is, that is the geezer back flowing. So this will happen for a short while and then it will stop. So what has happened is over time, uh, this washer, the face of this washer has actually lost its rubberiness. So it's, it's now no longer offering that watertight seal. So all I have to do is remove that nut and change the washer. Now you can get one of these bags of variable size washers or you can go and match the exact same washer. Now in this case, you can see there is the correct washer. You can swap them one for one. And this one is all nice and flexible and rubbery. While this one is probably quite brittle and the face of it is almost uh, plastic-like now. So it's offering no more watertight seal. Now you can take a shifting spanner and turn it. If you find that it's not allowing you to loosen it, you can take a vice grip and grip around the side. So you'll just adjust this and gently put it in there. Holding it now, I'll just take this and loosen this. If you're finding yours is very stiff, you can take a little bit of oil and just oil it. Right, I'm just using WD-40, but there's other options as well. And all you need to do is just spray a tiny drop there. Now, mine isn't C, so I don't have to do this. And then once you've put the drop there, you'll just rotate it like this. Now you need to get this old washer off and if it's tight you might even need to use pliers to pull it off and now I'm going to put the new washer, there it is, and now I put the nut back on. Now when you put this nut on you don't have to make it very tight. So once it's mated with the new washer, like I can feel that there's no gap between the nut and the washer, now all I need to do is make it a little bit tighter. There's no point making it extremely tight because all that happens is it will actually tear through this washer and it will actually destroy it over time. So I'm just going to uh, now grip that and probably go about half a turn more. Right, that's it. Even with just going half a turn, it's already embedding itself into the washer. So that's why I'm trying to say, uh, don't go too tight. You don't need to. It's not going to come off anyway. Now it's time to reinstall this. Now you can just uh, reassemble this, but what I do is I like to put a little bit of petroleum jelly in here. Just makes it easier for opening and closing and it stops it from seizing. So this is petroleum jelly. Now I just take a little bit and it's these tracks over there where it would turn, you see? Okay, now very important, uh, before you put this back, just make sure you uh, rotate this anti-clockwise. You don't want that fully extended. Now there might be a washer here, so just inspect the surface here. You can see the washer is clean. Um, I've removed any debris around here and here. Right, now it's time to tighten it. So as it gets tight, about a quarter of a turn more. There we go. And now you can go and switch on your water. Right, so I've switched the water back on. So the water is on. And now as you can see, when I tighten it, it'll no longer be dripping. Right, so that's how you fix a dripping outdoor tap. Thanks for watching. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grip it with a vice grip um, without indenting that pin. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just put a drop of penetrating lubrication just a little bit whoops too much I'm just using WD-40 you can use other types as well and now all I'm going to do is take my pliers and turn this nut now I'm turning anti-clockwise now you've got to be careful because the nut can actually break at this point
All right, remove this old washer. And if you have a look at this washer, I mean, look at that surface, totally stuffed. Now, although the washer is big like this, I'm going to use a smaller one because this is only big because it's swelled up or it's actually flattened and widened. This is the correct size. How I know it is you can see that the back plate there is similar to the size of the washer. Now it's time to put that nut on, but just clean the oil off the threads there. All right, so I'm just taking some rubbing alcohol and just removing any oil that was on here. You can also use thinners. And then I'm just wiping this nut to get any of that penetrating lube off. 